As promised, here is some of the interview Chuck Collins did with Uriah Heep when he came to Chicago in 1972 to perform their hit song, Easy Living. And you've been asking a lot, so at the end, I'll give you some of the backstory about were they lip syncing and were they stoned? Stay tuned. I remember Easy Living was a song that uh, Kenny came to the studio one day and just played it and everybody fell into it and that was uh, a song that we, it wasn't particularly on the itinerary of songs for that day but it's something that just happened there and, and, and they're nice when they happen like that. But a lot of it happens in the studio, especially on the last album, a lot of it happened in the studio. I, I think as far as the writing goes, Kenny is the most consistent. I'm waiting for his next you know, single. On the road, he, he seems to be able to get it together a lot quicker than... Well, now, I, I walked I, I, in the I, I, studio people, earlier, he was well, on the piano tapping. Yeah, yeah, yeah right. We, we yeah, did yeah, at yeah, one yeah, time have a poster uh, to put on his uh, room in the hotel's quiet genius at work, but it got lost somewhere. Are you a genius, Ken? Uh, uh yes. <laughs> no, truthfully. <laughs> I don't... No, I don't know. <laughs> I, I, I is, is, is writing hard for you? Is it hard to do it? No. How do you get an idea? Just from situations and people and, and the experiences, things you see, things you, you're in the middle of, you know. Anything, you know, it's uh, it's all stuff that provided in, in its final concept uh, other people can relate to it and it's not too personal. Then, uh, you know, you have to translate the situation so that it's relatable to by other people. Um, I mean, we get involved in lots of situations on the road which are uh, either emotional or, uh, or um, you know, bad for any reason, you know, and if they have an effect on you sufficiently, um, it's not very difficult, or well, at least I don't find it difficult to translate it into a, a song. When Uriah Heep showed up at our temporary studios on the west side of Chicago, they were disturbed at the condition of it. It was pretty run down. And they weren't sure they wanted to perform. So I pulled out the six joints I had rolled for the occasion, spread them around, and after about 10 to 15 minutes, we were all friends again, and everybody was then happy and ready to go. That was until we got into the control room when their manager handed us a soundtrack and said, they're going to lip sync this. Well, we had a policy against lip syncing, but agreed that we'll do this one if they'll sing their next song, Wizards and Demons, with live vocals. And they did. So in the upcoming shows, I'll give you the Wizards and Demons video with live vocals. First, 